Hello everybody, Jonathan from Post Construction today. Today I wanted to do a video um, on branding your tools and how to keep track of them. Say <clears throat> you're on a site with another contractor and he's running the same brand tool you are. How do you keep track? Um, a lot of guys, and what I've done for years, take a Sharpie, put your initials on it. Works great, nothing wrong with it. Um, some people will get stickers made, stick them on, excellent, works good. Um, there's only one drawback. A while ago we had tools stolen. <clears throat> well, a sticker and Sharpie, you can wipe Sharpie off, and a sticker can be peeled off, and there's absolutely no way of tracing that after that is gone, um, unless you have VIN numbers of your tools, and whatever, but who takes the time to write down all the VIN numbers of their tools, right? So, what I did, and the solution I came up with, is a branding iron. So, I got this branding iron, made it with my logo on it. Um, it comes from Gearheart Industries. Um, you can go online, find their website. You can go on there and design your branding iron. Um, they have a model where you can plug it in. This one you have to heat up with a torch. Um, as you can see, horse construction, circle, and a hammer. Um, now one thing I'm gonna tell you is this should be smaller as it doesn't fit 100% on all of the tools because there's not a big enough flat spot. But that's not a huge deal because you still get the horse construction part of it, the circle and the hammer just aren't there. Um, and so I'll show you what it looks like um, here, stamped on the bottom of battery. And here it is stamped on the top of an impact. Um, there you can see it doesn't quite all get, but it's good enough that you know it's there. Um, and the beauty of this is if somebody takes this, they're going to have to take a sander or a grinder and a flap, flap this and sand that out of there and there's literally going to be about nothing left of the tool and you're going to be able to tell that someone took the markings off of it. Um, so that's the route we opted to go. Um, so I went ahead and I stamped all my tools but today I thought I'd shoot a video um, of using it and I'm going to go ahead and stamp it on the fiberglass ladder here. I've never tried it on fiberglass, only on the plastics and stuff. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and stamp them today and show you just what it looks like. Um, other thing to note is we have not warrantied a tool since we have done this. I don't know how warranty is going to go if they're going to give you hassle. If you do that to your tools, that's the only disclaimer. Um, for us here, generally speaking, we don't warranty that many tools. Shouldn't be an issue. But just keep that in mind before you go ahead and do that. I'm not sure if warranty is going to give an issue being it's in the plastic I don't know but anyway this is the route we went so got my torch here big propane torch just trying to put in the vise to hold it I'm gonna fire it up heat this thing up and uh, show you guys what it's got now you don't have to have a big torch to do this um, a little burns o matic torch will work, or even a stove top for that matter. Um, this is just quicker and faster, and who doesn't love playing with a big torch? Uh, just don't burn your shop or your trailer up doing it. So, give it a minute here, heat it up. It does take a little bit of time to get it heated. Once you've got it heated, preheated the first time, you can go ahead and stamp the tool back in the flame, stamp another one. Pretty quick process. Um, didn't take me very long to go through and stamp the tools in the trailer one night. Um, I just lined all my batteries up, went through, stamped them all, and uh, away we went. Turn this heat up here, let's get this thing rolling.
warm. We'll give it a test fit here, see how she goes. You do have to push quite hard. Ah, didn't take. Not warm enough. Back on the heat. Try it again. I'm sure not going to touch it to see if it's hot enough. Well, she's hot. Doesn't really go on the fiberglass. It's kind of a no-go, I guess. Um, yeah, give her some more heat.
lots of smoke come off the wood. Stamped the wood pretty good. Um, so there you have it. It uh, it works good. We like it. Um, one thing I'm going to say is you do not want to overheat this because this is an aluminum block. Um, they tell you that when you buy it. Not to leave it on a stove and walk away because you will mess up the CNC engraving in the block of aluminum. But uh, And don't put it down anywhere that it could possibly start a fire. Um, thanks for watching and 